Computer Graphics, Lecture Number Two: The Creation of Digital Images, Graphic Size and Formats. Doctor PhD Senior Lecturer Shangutbaeva Gulmira. And there is our plan of the lesson. First is creating digital images, and the second image formats graphics, and the third compression of graphics dates. Uh, so then there are our references. You can look and read if you want to know any more information about our theme. Computer graphics is an area of computer science concerned with the preparation of various images, for example, paintings, drawings, and animations on the computer. Main applications of computer graphics The first is scientific graphics. The first computers were used only for scientific and industrial applications. And the second is business graph. Computer graphics designed to visualize the various indicators of the institutions. And the third is the design graphics used in the design, engineers, architects, inventors of power. And finally, fourth, illustrative shadow. This arbitrary drawing and sketching on a computer screen. Types of computer graphics. There are two types of computer graphics, and there are, there are raster graphics and the vector graphics. And so. Raster graphics are used in the development of electronic or multimedia and printing publications. And vector graphics is a method of representing an image as a set of lines and arts and etc. A vector is a set of data characterized or vector. And graphic editor divides into raster and the vector. Raster editors. A big map image consists of a huge number of small squares called pixels or image points. The most important characteristic of a raster graphic file is its spatial resolution that has the number of pixels that fit it in one centimeter or more often in one inch. Vector graphics. Vector images are based on vectors, direct and indirect lines. Disadvantages Raster graphics and vector graphics. Raster graphics Pixelation Large size graphic file. And the disadvantages of vector graphics are limitation in pictorial means. The image looks artificial and not natural. And there are advantages of raster graphics and the vector graphics. So, advantages of raster graphics are high fidelity transmission. And the advantages of vector graphics are transformation without distortion, a small amount of memory, editing parts of a drawing separately, and the ability to create drawings quickly and easily. Raster editors Microsoft Paint, Adobe Photoshop, Jim, MyPaint, PaintNet, PicPic, Coral Printer. And the vector editors Adobe Illustrator, Coral Draw. Image Digital Image an image is a two-dimensional function where x and 
why are the spatial plane coordinators and the amplitude of f as a pair of coordinates is called the intensity of the image at that level if x and y and the amplitude values of f and finite are and discrete quantities we call the image a digital image a digital image is composed of a finite number of elements called pixels each of which has a particular location and value and we c you can see the first digital photograph coincides with the following image mm. Uh, you can read it for yourself. Remember, digitalization implies that a digital image is an approximation of a real scene. And you can see that there is a one pixel. It looks real realistic. Digital image processing. So there you can see many colors of the digital image and many um, parts. Source of digital images. The principal source for the image is the electromagnetic EM energy spectrum. Gamma rays. Uh, gamma ray imaging Cherenkov telescope, gamma ray imaging, uh, gamma ray imaging of a star gal galaxy about 12 million light years away. And the second is X rays. X ray imaged from the space, the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Uh, then we have ultraviolet. Uh, you can read this for yourselves. Uh, then visible light. Infrared. Infrared images and snake around the arm. Mm. What is it? Um, then microwaves. Radio waves. MRI image slides from the brain. Digital image based on the EM spectrum, an example showing imaging in all the of the bands, gamma, X-ray, optical, infrared, radio, and optical is a visible light. Um, you can see in the picture images of the crop pulsar in the center of images, uh, covering the electromagnetic spectrum. Ultrasound imaging. Ultrasound baby image during pregnancy and the ultrasound image asceticians. Raster image files. Raster images are constructed by a series of pixels or individual blocks to form an image. JPEG, GIF and PNG are all raster image extensions 
Every photo you find online or in print is a raster image. Pixels have a defined proportion based on their resolution, high or low. And when the pixels are scratched to fill space they were not originally intended to fit, they become distorted, resulting in blurry or unclear images. In order to retain pixel quality, you cannot resize raster images without compromising their resolution. As a result, it is important to remember to save raster files and the exact dimensions needs for the application. Vector image files. Vector images are far more flexible. They are constructed using proportional formulas rather than pixels. EPS, all and PDF are perfect for creating graphics that require frequent resizing. Your logo and brand graphics should have been created as a vector and you should always have a master file on hand. The real beauty of vectors lies in their ability to be sized as small as a postage stamp or large enough to fit on the 18-wheeler. If you're not sure whether you have a vector version of your logo, here's a little trick for you. Call the company that printed your business cards of the vendor that embroidered your logo on a shirt. Often they'll have the vector file of your logo that they can send to you for your records. Types of image files JPEG or JPG Joint Photographic Experts Group. PNG, uh, it is Portable Network Graphics, GFE, Graphics Interchange Format, TIFF, Taged Image File, PSD, Photoshop Document, PDF, Portable Document Format, EPS is Encapsulated Postscript, AL, I is Adobe Illustrator document. INDD is Adobe InDesign document. And uh, finally, RIO row is Raw Image Formats. JPEG or JPG is Joint Photographic Experts Group. JPEG Joint Photographic Experts Group. JPEGs uh, might be the most common file type you run across on the web, and more than likely the kind of image that is your, in your company's MS Word version of its letterhead. JPEGs are known for their lossy compression, meaning that the quality of the image decreases as the file size decreases. You can use JPEGs for projects on the web, in Microsoft Office documents, or for projects that require printing at a high resolution. Paying attention to the resolution and file size with JPEGs is essential in order to produce a nice-looking project. PNG Portable Network Graphics PNGs are amazing for interactive documents such as web pages but are not suitable for print. While PNGs are lossless, meaning you can edit them and not lose quality, they are still low resolution. The reason PNGs are used in most web projects is that you can save your image with more colors on a transparent background. 
This makes for a much sharper web quality image. GIF uh, Graphics Interchange Format IFs are most common in their animated form, which are all the rage on Tumblr pages and in banner ads. It seems like every other day we have a new grumpy cat or honey boo boo animated GIF. In their more basic forms, GIFs are formed from up to 256 colors in the RGB color space. Due to the limited number of colors, the file size is structurally reduced. This is a common file type for web projects when image needs to load very quickly as opposite to one that needs to retain a higher level of quality. TIFF Text Image File A TIFF is a large raster file that doesn't lose quality. This file type is known for using lossless compression, meaning the original image data is maintained regardless of how often you might copy, resave, or compress the original file. Despite TIFF's image, ability to recover their quality after manipulation, you should avoid uh, using this file type on the web, it can take forever to load. TIFF files are also commonly used when saving photographs for print. Um, and then PSD, Photoshop document. SDs are files that are created and saved in Adobe Photoshop the most popular graphics editing software ever. This type of file contains layers that make modifying the image much easier to handle. This is also the program that generates the raster files types mentioned above. The largest disadvantage to PSDs is that Photoshop works with raster images as opposite to vector images. And after it is PDF, portable document format. PDFs were invented by Adobe with the goal of capturing and reviewing rich information from any application on any computer with anyone anywhere. I'd say they've been pretty successful so far. If a designer saves your vector logo in PDF format, you can view it without any design editing software, as long as you have downloaded the free Acrobat Reader software. And they have the ability to use this file to make further manipulations. This is by far the best universal tool for sharing graphics. And then EPS, Encapsulate Postscript. PS is a file in vector format that has been designed to produce high resolution graphics for print. Almost any kind of design software can create an EPS. The EPS extension is more of a universal file type, much like the PDF, that can be used to open vector-based artwork in any design editor, not just the more common Adobe products. This safeguards file transfers to designers that are not yet utilizing. Adobe products, but maybe using CorelDRAW or Quark. And after it is AI, AI, Adobe Illustrator document. AI is 
by far the image format most preferred by designers and the most reliable type of file format for using images in all types of projects from web to print and etc. Adobe Illustrator is the industry standard for creating artwork from scratch and therefore more than likely the program in which your logo was originally rendered. Illustrator produces vector artwork, the easiest type of file to manipulate. It can also create all of the aforementioned file types. Pretty cool stuff. It is by far the best tool in any designer's arsenal. And with INDD, Adobe InDesign document. INDDs, InDesign document, are files that are created and saved in Adobe InDesign. InDesign is commonly used to create larger publications such as newspapers, magazines, and ebooks. Files from both Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator can be combined in InDesign to produce content rich designs that feather advanced typography, embedded graphics, page content, formatting information, and other sophisticated lawyer related options. Raw, raw image formats. Uh, Arial W image is the least processed image type on this list. It's often the first format a picture inherits when it's created. When you snap a photo with your camera, it's saved immediately in a raw file format. Only when you upload your media to a new device and edit it using image software is it saved using one of the image extensions, explains above. Array W images are valuable because they capture every element of a photo without processing and losing small visual details. Eventually, however, you'll want to package them into a raster or vector file type so they can be transferred and resized for various purposes. Uh, RAW, RAW image formats. As you can see from the icons above, there are multiply RAW image files which you can create images, many of them native to certain cameras, and there are still designs, more formats not shown above. Here's a brief description of those four file row files above. TR2. This image extension standards for Canon row 2 and was created by Canon for photo photos taken using its own digital cameras. There is actually based on the TIFF file type, making them inherently high in quality. RW, uh, this image extension was also created by Canon, preceding the existence of the CR2. NEF or NEF, this image extension stands for Nikon Electric Format and is a RAW file type created by, you guessed it, Nikon cameras. These image files actually allow for executive editing without changing file types, provided the editing takes place using a Nikon device or Nikon Photoshop plugin. PIF or PEF it is uh, um, this image extension stands for Pentax Electronics Format, a ROO 
image uh, file type created by Pentax digital cameras. And there are some questions for you. The first is creating digital images. Second is image formats graphics. And third, types of image files. Fourth, raster image files. And the finally, fifth, vector image files. Thank you for your attention. Nazarlanınızğa rahmet.